Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining the session on Accelerating Delivery, Automated Tests and Free Port Benefits. I hope you are having a great time at SASCOM 2021. I'm Shrabanti Bhimanagam, working at LPL Financial as a Technology AVP. Today I'll be providing a walkthrough on how we have leveraged automated tests for multi-fold benefits. Let's start with the question of why accelerating delivery is important. In a competitive world today, for businesses to thrive and to sustain, it is important to know who our customers are, what they need and when they need it. To be able to deliver to our customers on time, it is important to accelerate our delivery with quality. Now I'll provide a walkthrough on how we have accelerated delivery with quality using automated tests. The core purpose of automated tests is to certify the functionality and to reduce the manual uh, efforts that are needed in re-executing these test cases. We spent a lot of time in identifying the test scenarios and automating them to cover for the customer journey, the boundary cases and negative scenarios. With so much time spent on automating these test cases, if we can have them multitask, it would be a huge benefit. That's when we added a couple more non-functional lenses to our automated tests, which are dynamic security scans and accessibility testing. We added these capabilities to our automated test framework so that the test cases actually need zero code changes. We also extended the reports provided by these individual capabilities so that our engineers spend less time in analyzing these reports and uh, drive the actions needed in handling these vulnerabilities that are identified. This is a high level overview into our automation framework ecosystem. The two non-functional capabilities that we, I mentioned uh, sits into the automation framework along with the other functional capabilities like API testing capabilities, web and mobile testing capabilities. Let's start with the capability of security scans. Security scans are very important to identify the security vulnerabilities and address them before the code hits the road. For this, we chose Zap. Zap is an open source library that is maintained through OWASP. It integrates well with Selenium. Zap provides APIs that helps to control the scan process. It also provides configurations to uh, define the attack strength. Zap provides Docker images and these were highly useful for us in scaling up the test infrastructure as a service. Now let's see how we have integrated Zap with our automated test framework. Zap is added as a proxy into our browser capabilities. So that when the browser is spun up, the proxy is associated with that browser. It sits in the middle of the browser and the application server response, recording the communications going back and forth. This process is called as a passive scan. Once all the test executions are complete, using the ZAP APIs, we are triggering the active scans. The reporting process happens after both the active and passive scans are complete. We extended the reporting capability provided by ZAP. ZAP provides both uh, HTML reports and JSON reports. 
The, we use the JSON reports to extend the capabilities so that our engineers spend less time on analyzing the uh, uh, vulnerabilities that are identified and uh, based on the severity of the issue. If it is a new issue, we are going to create a JIRA ticket so that the teams can act on those quickly. The benefits that we have seen with integrating ZAP with our automated test cases is the post-authentication web page validation has become easier. For any new web pages that are automated or the new sections for which we are increasing the automation coverage, uh, the dynamic security scan coverage is proportionate. This provides a high-level snippet of how ZAP is integrated into the automation framework. When we are setting up the ZAP proxy, we configure the spider. The spider helps to call, crawl through the URLs to the uh, depth we have specified. And then we configure the attack strengths uh, which are needed for the active scan process. And we can define whether we want the passive scan or not. These are the high level steps that go in while configuring the ZAP proxy into your automation framework. This is a sample report uh, of how ZAP provides through HTML format. It gives the details on what the vulnerability are, where the vulnerability is identified, the severity of the vulnerabilities, and the ways that you can remediate this issue. Now moving on to the next non-functional capability that we wanted to discuss, which is about the accessibility scans. Accessibility scans are very important if you are serving your customers through web applications and through mobile apps, and your customer base includes uh, people with special abilities. With constantly changing user experience, like new pages getting added, new sections getting added, the term changing very frequently, uh, act, exercising accessibility uh, tests manually is very intensive. To solve this problem, we have used Axe libraries uh, to integrate into our automation framework. Axe is open source library. It integrates well with different technology stacks and it provides configurations to include or exclude the rules for which you want to validate your web application for from accessibility guidelines point of view. The main benefits we have seen with this is we reduce the manual effort that is spent on certifying our web applications for uh, accessibility guidelines. And also the reports uh, that are generated through this accessibility scans are customized to fit into the framework so that the right actions are driven. Now that we have seen that uh, accessibility scans and the dynamic scans can be performed along with your automation test execution, so what would be the next step to gain more benefit out of it? So that's when we integrated this into our CI-CD pipeline, which is a shift left in quality. With this, the benefit we have seen is whenever there is a code change for which we are doing a build in the CI pipeline and deploy it into the testing environment, along with the automated test cases, we are also certifying or uh, checking for the dynamic security scans and accessibility scans at the same time. So it saves a lot of time, uh, which is involved in certifying these features separately. 
and at the same time we will be able to provide early feedback with the incremental changes that go into the agile process. The key takeaways from this is the automated tests can wear multiple hats. Zero code change is needed in incorporating these capabilities. And also we can get early feedback by integrating these test cases into the CXCP pipelines.
Thank you.